This video of mine is to show you how to fix your steamer. Well, it's a quick rental. I've got other videos out there to show you how to pull apart the unit. So if this video, you're looking at this and like, whoa, pulling out your hair, what do you do? Click on my other videos. Don't worry, it's very simple. Two screws out the back, the whole thing comes apart. Now, diagnosing is one of the most important things in trying to find out what's wrong with your steamer. So you turn on your unit, everything else is working but your steamer. Follow these Teflon lines. Alright, so you start from the start of the unit or the back of the unit, doesn't matter. From this compressor here, back here, this here, down here, compresses uh, the water into the unit. So it's like a pump. It could be on the side of the unit, depending on what type of unit you have. This is for a drawer, a coffee machine. Other coffee machines might be similar. So, I found that the water, as soon as when it left the compressor, it split in, oh, into the water pump. It split into two, one into the boiler, one to the steamer. As soon as when it went into the steamer section, no water going through the line. So, one, the blockage is real close, or it's further down, just not pumping nothing through where there's no air getting through. So, we had a look on the other side of the line, had a look. Um, pretty much what you do is you pull hose by hose off and see where it's blocked. Um, found this one. Nothing's coming through. So, the other thing is uh, these solenoids can tend to wreck over time. So, if you're 100% certain that none of these lines are blocked and this steamer is not blocked check your solenoid way of doing that is disconnecting your two hoses on each side being very careful let it pump through the one side and if it ain't pumping uh, if it's pumping through without the solenoid in place that means solenoid check your wiring check if there's power actually going to the solenoid could be the board that could be wrecked but 99% of the time Blocked toes. Why? Unit's not being cleaned properly. So, when you come across a block hose, block hose at the end, you don't need to buy a new hose, you just need to clean it. These Teflon hoses are very strong and durable. How I clean my hoses? Very easy. Use a piece of wire, shove it through the hose. The opposite end of the hose, you don't want to shove all the gunk back through the other end. So, do this under a tap to give it a bit more of a better clean as it's coming through. Might get a little difficult, and we are not through the other end, but it's not coming through. So what we need to do is probably give it a little bit of a poke. Okay, so that didn't go through properly. Actually, it did just manage to go through then. So push it through one more time. Okay. Hose unblocked. 